Joe. Whoa, you've taken aerobics here, right? Uh, like, one time. Good enough. My aerobics instructor called in sick, and today's class is super important. Are you asking me to teach your class? It's a trial class for representatives from Big Corp. If they sign up for a corporate account, that'd be huge. I'd lead it myself, but I pulled a hamstring. But I'm supposed to be working on the wedding cake, and then... And... Fabulous. Just head over to the aerobics area when you're ready. But I, I didn't agree to... I... Thanks, Flo. You're a real team player. I love that can-do attitude. Okay, Joe. I'm gonna give it a shot.
I left in this neighborhood. want to do that. Hmm, well, I'll buy one box. Would you like caramel cavity makers, peanut butter eat alls or minty mint crisps? Uh, I'll go with the minty mint crisps. That'll be ten bucks. Yowch! Hey, 
Hey, Joe. Those aerobics folks are still here? Evaluating my gym is the best assignment they've ever received at Big Corp. They don't want to leave. I'm going to watch this tape on your VCR now, okay? Sure. Let me know if it's any good. Maybe I'll watch it later. To use the cake-o-matic machine, first, insert your ingredients. Then push the buttons in the order seen at the bottom of the screen. It's just that easy. That's it? You'd think they could have just printed the instructions on a piece of paper. Or just put one button on the machine instead of three. Show that keiko matic who's boss. You know what buttons to push? I sure do. I mean, I, I think I do. But we'll see. Looks delicious, Flo! Thank you! Just don't tell Miss Big about the oyster sauce and sauerkraut. Next up are the flowers and the rings, but I have no clue where to look. Whoever is behind all these disasters must have them. Oh, gotta go! The cake is here? Isn't it unbelievable? It truly is. Wow, I'm just speechless. Before you know it, your husband will be feeding you the first bite. That's impossible. I mean, it's all happening so fast. Great, I'm done with the cake and found all the butterflies. Time to take the subway again. Here. Marco's flower shop, here I come. Hello, need the Dinertown Daily Scoop? The front page is all about the wedding festivities. No thanks, Bernie. I've heard enough about it from Quinn already. Tony sure is a lucky guy. I hope I marry someone like Miss Big someday. Miss Big's the lucky one. Tony treats her like a princess. And she'll have the world's best pizza for the rest of her life. Hey, 
Are the rumors true about the wedding rings missing and stuff? Well, it does seem like someone's trying to stop the wedding. That would make a great news story. I'd sell tons of papers with a mystery like that. Marco, Quinn told me about the flower disaster. Oh, it was miserable. It took me all day yesterday to make those bouquets. Then I come in this morning and find them all totally fried. Someone had turned up the heat to a hundred degrees. Looks like they scattered your flowers all over the shop, too. I'm almost done picking them all up, but can't find the red roses and purple tulips. You need a break. I'll pick up the rest of the roses and tulips. I can help with the bouquets, too. Beautiful flowers. in all the flowers before we work on the bouquets. Marco sure keeps his flowers nice and organized. Those flowers smell so good. I should help make some bouquets now. The rack for the bouquets is on the table over there. Do you have any wedding cards left? Nope. Everybody snatched them up this week. Tony and Miss Big will be getting lots of copies of the same wedding cards. <laughs> Marco sure keeps his flowers nice and organized. Let's finish finding all the flowers before we work on the bouquets. Okay, Marco, I found all the flowers. Can I start on the bouquets now? Sure, but Miss Big is super fussy. Just wait till you see the rules she wrote about each bouquet.
eyes look perfect. Who do you think wrecked the flowers anyway? Well, I didn't want to say anything before. I know you guys are friends, but I'm sure it was Bernie. He was the last person in the shop last night, buying a boutonniere. And I found a book club membership card on the floor near the thermostat. Miss Big was in the shop at the same time. Maybe he got upset at seeing her. Do you think it's possible that he'd take the rings too? Oh, absolutely. Heartbreak makes you do crazy things. If I were you, I'd march right on over to the newsstand and confront Burn. I'll go deliver these bouquets to the cruise ship. All right. Thanks, Marco. Wow, the flowers look so fresh. They followed my instructions to the letter. The bridesmaids will love them. But where are the butterflies? Oh, we can't get married without those. Oh, uh, I didn't want them in this stuffy room. Uh, they're um, getting some fresh air. I don't know how you do it, Quinn. Everything is going so smoothly. She still doesn't suspect a thing. If you get the rings and butterflies, this wedding might actually happen. I know who has the rings, Quinn. No time to explain. Gotta go. Oh, great. Bernie's out to lunch. He must know I'm onto him. And are those dead roses in the trash can, too? All right, there's no question now. Bernie is definitely behind all this. He must have the wedding rings. I've got to find him. Where would he go to lunch in this town? 